engine ignition one and lift off of the united launch alliance vulcan rocket carrying ula's legacy of reliability orbital accuracy and high energy performance So this is what I get for going to sleep after getting less than three hours sleep and waking up at 3 a.m. to cover a launch because sharp-eyed observers at NASA Spaceflight and elsewhere saw something happen to Vulcan Centaur during the ascent, something that didn't seem to affect the flight at all, but something that was still very ugly indeed. There it is right there. An SRB lost its nozzle, nozzle being blown off in flight and fairly early in the burn process for the SRB as well. However, amazingly, this had zero effect as near as we can tell on the flight. Tori Bruno has already commented on the issue and according to him, orbital insertion was absolutely perfect and since all missions have propellant reserves, the minor impact that the destroyed nozzle had on the flight was compensated for by the other engines and the extra fuel available. Because this was compensated for within its propellant reserves, the anomaly was, quote, invisible to the rocket, unquote. So yeah, even though this looked ugly, it appears that it had no impact on the flight at all. Now, that isn't saying that, that nothing happened, that there wasn't an incident that could have made maybe gone a little worse, but again, I don't see how it could have gone any worse really given the engineering of the rocket, the avionics, everything else involved. And since the solid rocket booster nozzles hang lower than everything else on the rocket, including the BE-4 engines, the debris would have been unlikely to damage anything else on the rocket. Again, I'm not saying that this wasn't an incident, it definitely was, and in my opinion, it's probably going to trigger an FAA investigation. As a matter of fact, I have already received the following response from my contact at the FAA. Quote, this information is preliminary and subject to change. The FAA is aware an anomaly occurred during the ULA Vulcan Centaur 2 mission that launched from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida on October 4th, 2024. This involved one of the solid rocket boosters. No public injuries or public property damage have been reported. The FAA is assessing the operation and will issue an updated statement if the agency determines an investigation is warranted. Now, maybe the FAA won't demand an investigation, but again, given the explosive nature of the incident, I kind of doubt it, even though there is a bit of a distinction between this anomaly and the three anomalies that Falcon 9 has sustained recently. One prevented Falcon 9 from deploying its payload, completely well actually it deployed its starlink payload but unsuccessfully and they were lost a few days afterwards in addition to that you also had another anomaly that yeah didn't affect the disposition of the payload or the flight but resulted in the destruction of a booster so they weren't able to recover their booster as planned that's a deviation from the planned flight and then finally the most recent incident involved a off nominal burn with the upper stage ending up in a different part of the ocean than SpaceX planned for it to go. All three of these anomalies resulted in a change in the flight, an impact on everything that should have happened during the flight. Now, if this incident had resulted in Vulcan entering an incorrect trajectory or a suboptimal orbital insertion that had to be compensated for by the second stage, something like that, then yeah, it would have been more significant. But near as we can tell, everything went perfectly, including a number of post Miko maneuvers on the part of the Centaur 5 upper stage. Still, I'm pretty sure that we're going to have at least a brief investigation, and the U.S. Space Force will probably demand some additional testing of the 
FSRB some ground testing in order to do their best to confirm that this isn't going to occur again, but if I were the U.S. Space Force, I would feel pretty reassured by this flight knowing that Vulcan Centaur can endure an incident like this, an explosive incident, without going off course. I think that's very impressive and entering the proper orbital trajectory. Keep in mind, it had a dummy payload on board simulating the weight of a pretty heavy satellite, so it's not like it wasn't carrying anything. So yeah, I would say that overall, this incident demonstrated the resilience of this rocket, although I definitely think that it needs to be investigated as well, and I'm pretty sure the FAA is going to agree here shortly. So I will keep you up to date on all of these issues and on the ongoing grounding of the Falcon 9 fleet. We will have a very grim situation if both Falcon 9 and Vulcan Centaur are grounded here in the near future, which again, I think is pretty likely. Again, I'll keep you up to date and in the meantime, stay angry about space.